Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Brandon. Welcome to Audio Addiction, where you can find the latest album reviews. You can find our band interviews and you can find live coverage of the concerts that we get. I'll be posting Night vs. Set. I'll be posting Sauce's set. I'll also be posting Macari's set, along with Wolf and Bear and our homies in uh, with Sales Ahead, uh, all in the coming next days. Uh, I- Probably Night Versus and Sauces will be out this weekend, and then Wolf and Bear, Macari, and With Sales Ahead will all be out the following week. Um, also, shout outs to With Sales Ahead for letting me ride with them, as well as catching this show. Go check them out. They're a killer band from New Jersey that needs some love, so go give them some love. Um, also, I've been pretty lax on the album reviews. Uh, I've been going through some personal stuff, so um, I will be getting back onto the bandwagon of doing album reviews. So let me know what you've been jamming, and maybe I'll do a review of it in the coming weeks days whatever um but tonight we're gonna be talking about makari's new record hyper real so i've been a fan of this band for a hot minute now um they are a ambient uh, kind of post hardcore band from uh, Florida, and I have been really a fan since their first EP that they put out. Uh, really awesome stuff. I can't think of the name because it's really early in the morning, as well as like I'm mad tired. But anyway, uh, it's a phenomenal EP. Then I kind of dropped off at uh, LG's, or I don't know how to pronounce le whatever i don't know how to pronounce it i'm really bad with words um but that one i kind of dropped off from uh i think spencer pearson is a great vocalist i just i've heard mixed things about it um and i just kind of like skipped over it and i just didn't really listen to it but since they signed uh andy uh Sizek, who does youtube covers as well as he's another and another band called wanderer um i wanted to give this album a listen shout outs to earshot media for sending it a little bit early uh always appreciate it um but i wanted to give this band and this album another chance as well as an you know many listens as, as i could so i listened to it as many times as i could so hopefully it comes across in this review but i'm gonna go through each track give you my thoughts and opinions on it some pros and cons and then fish it out with an overall rating so the first track is called better um this one's one of my favorites off the record as well um it's really cool that they've been playing it live because i think it translates very well from the album version to the live version um loving this sort of upbeat and fun vibes of this track i think it really shows um in just the instrumentation the overall vocals from andy um i just like how each instrument can be heard separately you can really pick out the bass you can pick out the guitar rhythm lines you can pick out the drumming uh obviously andy's vocals um and then sort of the lead lines that kind of filter in and out of the track i think it's really cool um but i also like how they really play in tandem together uh, more specifically in the choruses i feel like they come and hit their stride at those points um I love the chorus. I think it's really catchy, really bumpy, and one of those things that I just have those hooks stuck in my head. Um, I love that way Andy's vocals just have this sort of welcomed addition to the band. Uh, they really cut through the song, and just the additional layering that's done with his vocals really kind of uh, show off his external skills in that regard, but also kind of play into his main vocal lines of the tracks. I think that this one is catchy and in an infectious jam to start off off the record with so we're gonna move into track number two which is the jar uh this track has more of the spacious and ambient vibes that i'm typically expected from this band uh, especially in the verses of the song you can definitely pick out more of those effects that i use like a lot of delay a lot of reverb um which is really cool and i think it uh, you know fixes the overall vibe of the track um the song really kind of retains its overall catchy and fun vibes to it I like that they kind of switched it up in the bridge. I think that they made the track really interesting in that part with a with a bit of a slowdown. The inclusion of acoustic guitars is always nice. Um, and there's also a nice little guitar solo in there as well. Um, and I really, really love the guitar work in this track. I think that is underrated. And I think a lot of people will enjoy the guitar work in this song in more particular. Um, I think that it is a solid track. I think I'm kind of on the fence of whether or not it's a favorite of mine yet, but I think it's pretty 
pretty close nonetheless so we're moving to track number three which is transient uh this one is one of the singles that had been released i think it is the second single that was released if i'm not mistaken um and i really enjoy this one a lot um i like these sort of synth padding and layering going on in this track and how it kind of transcends the song as well it's not just in the beginning portion of the track it kind of plays more of an external role in the verses and the choruses of the song even in the bridge as well in some parts um i think it brings a nice element that blends kind of their more tappy sort of ambient sounds with more like electronics and synth parts um i dig the sort of huge sound that is brought about by that um sort of padding and synth lines uh and i feel like it almost has that sort of slower paris vibe to it um very similar to um i i forget i'm thinking of the wrong name it's something mirror i can't think of the name but if i put it in text you'll know what i'm talking about um but it has that sort of feeling to it um as well as i like that uh, the chorus definitely defines the track for sure it is the highlight of the song um, and I wasn't really sold initially on this track um, when I heard it as a single um, but I think it sits very well in the record and I think that it is a solid track much like the jar but not one of my favorites so we're gonna move into track number four which is fractals this one is a favorite of mine I'm digging the sort of more punchy uh, instrumental lines in this track I think that Andy's vocals really kind of take over this track in a really great way showing off of his overall range I feel like a lot of the tracks may be better being the only exclusion of that but the jar and transient kind of take a little bit more of a step back I feel like fractals and better really show off more of his extensive range that he got going on um I like that this one has more of an older Markari vibe, especially the first EP. Um, it definitely has that sort of vibe, um, which I absolutely love. I felt like that kind of sound really has this original originality to it um, that a lot of other bands kind of don't take uh, too much notice to. So I definitely appreciate that. Um, I think that every time I think of something like guitar lines in terms of what they do, I'm very like that's Macari that's Macari so definitely appreciate that uh the structure of the song really highlights a lot of their best qualities and I think that overall it's a really solid track it's one of my favorites so I I feel like um just the overall vibe of it really resonates with uh what I was listening to and what I was driving with so I definitely appreciate this track a lot so we're gonna move into track number five which is hyper real the title track um and it happens to be one of the singles as well I think it is the most recent single as of this video um and the album comes out Friday so obviously I don't know if they'll release another one but if they do you know obviously you'll understand this uh but getting back to the track out of the singles that have been released it is probably my second favorite maybe closely following control which i'll talk about later um definitely digging the sort of overall vibe of the track um i think it's a really catchy track and um i like that this has a great amount of ambient space but also has some really great energy to back it as well on um, their starts as where it's just really ambient and you can really feel the mood of the track and then there's also parts where it has a lot more energy like the chorus and probably the bridge um of this track uh digging this sort of tappy chord structures that's going on i think it was even more impressive to see it live and how you know on point they were with the, some of the guitar work um i like that the bass really kind of fills in the sort of empty spaces of the track um and the drumming also was really great in this track as well um and i think this is one of any stronger performances off this record for sure um it kind of goes off of the full gambit of his range um and it really utilizes everything coming kind of from his lower register to all the way to like falsetto and that sort of really high pitched vocals that he does super well so we're gonna move into track number six which is seasons this one is a favorite of mine as well um i think this one will take a lot of people by surprise it has more of a bouncy sort of groovy vibe to it I think much along the lines of better uh the first track on the record um and even in some cases i got a little bit of a dgd vibe from it maybe just the guitar work um kind of is reminiscent to will swan but definitely appreciate that um the guitars also add this really awesome ambient overtones to the track and I really dig that the bass adds this awesome groove line to the track and I think it's something that is very noticeable and you can pick it out on the track and then I also like that the drums have this sort of 
overall uh, feel to the track as well as just adding depth and texture to the song as well. Um, the vocal layering adds a really great amount of atmosphere to the track um, and I think that they were placed accordingly uh, as personal, personally one of my favorite tracks in terms of the structure and the arrangement of the track. I think that everything has a purpose and it fits in this track very nicely and it utilizes um, every aspect of this band and I think that it really plays off of uh, the strength of Andy's vocals as well. So we're moving to track number seven which is no longer uh, the bass and the guitar really take uh, a lot of the lead in this track um, and really kind of defining a groove in this track um, but the voids are definitely filled with that sort of lead guitar line, lead rhythm line. Um, I think that they have this sort of great chord slash tap B structure. Um, I, it's really hard to explain, but basically they'll make a chord and they'll kind of like tap over over top of it, which I think is really unique and uh, I've always appreciated that about this band. Um, I think the song really comes into its own around the second part of the track. Um, I think that the first half is a little bit rough, but um, as the song progresses, it really kind of builds steam um, and it's definitely kind of right out of that ballpark of my favorites but i think it's just because of the lack of being that th that first kind of section of the track is a little bit rough but i think that it really kind of pans out as the song progresses so we're gonna move into track number eight which is hollow this one is a personal favorite of mine as well uh digging this sort of softer melodic uh tendencies of this song i think that we really didn't hear a lot of that um particularly in this record maybe excluding transient um but there's really no songs that have that sort of softer more melodic approach to the track and i think that um i think that that definitely shows a lot of skill and a lot of you know traits uh to what they do in this song so um andy does a little bit more in this track just because there's more space to go along with the song um and i think that it really works and he just uses that that energy super well um, I appreciate the change up in the more mellow direction of this track and I think it really thrives very well uh, the guitars have really have a chance to expand and use a lot of more of that uh, ambient tendencies uh, that they had been kind of using on and off uh, throughout the record but I feel like it really kind of culminates to this one song um, I feel like this one's definitely the black sheep of the record I feel like either people will love it or people will hate it um, I personally love it just because I've had lis been listening to it for many many days now um and it's one that every time i get to this record i'm like this is hollow it's really awesome um and it's a nice change of pace from the sort of you know stylings that they've that they know for that you're they're known for um which i really appreciate so we're gonna move into track number nine which is dashboard this one is another favorite of mine as well um digging this sort of more open-ended intro um and i think that this song is really a builder it kind of starts off really slow and mellow and then kind of gets really really big at the end um it shows off a lot of Andy's reins like his falsettos but also kind of the more mellower tonality especially towards the front half um, of this song and then towards the latter half he gets a little bit more aggressive even to the point of having a scream at the end portion of the song which which is really different and I would love for them to expand upon it where it seemed necessary. I feel like in this track, as the song kind of progresses, it would, it needed that sort of release. And, uh, I like that they included this screaming. I think it really worked. Um, I think that you can hear some faint organ work, um, throughout this track, which adds a little bit of depth to the song. Um, and I like in the overall energy level of the song, like I was saying, as it progresses, the song becomes more energetic. Um, and it really finishes off on a really strong high note uh, to get you into the next track which is track number 10 control uh, this one is another favorite of mine and it happens to be one of the singles as well um, but this track is amazing I think I really kind of skipped over this I had no idea that they had released this already but I really love this track um, it has more of those darker tonalities which I'd love for them to expand upon in future releases as well um, and I feel like this kind of is that bridge between the new sound and the old sound um it has a lot of elements of their newer stuff uh stuff kind of like in hyper real but also older stuff where you kind of get tracks like fractals uh that sort of older makari vibe um 
the chorus is one of my favorite i just love the smoothness to it i think it really works um and this track really definitely highlights a lot of the best aspects of the record um and just showing off that andy's such an amazing addition to this band um and i think that due to this being his first record where it's where it's him on it um i think it works out super well so some pros and cons that i have on this record some pros i love andy sizek um i think that he's got a phenomenal voice super underrated vocalist in this scene now so i, I would highly recommend checking out not only this band but also wanderer some really awesome stuff uh there's some really great hooks uh tracks like control really got me um i feel also feel like seasons was another really good one hyper real fractal um even better i would say those are probably my favorite tracks that have the best hooks in it uh there's a copious amount of catchy tracks on this record um if it was no wasn't notified on terms of the favorites tracks that i picked out on this record and i would say that the second half of this record is definitely better than the first half um but not by much i think that they really did a phenomenal job really kind of spacing out the tracks um there are some tracks that i really didn't jive with as much but um i think that they did a, overall a really good job um some cons i feel like there is room to expand in terms of sonic sound uh which i feel like tracks like hollow if there was another track like hollow maybe at towards the beginning it would be really great maybe to replace transient um i would have loved to hear something like that uh earlier on i think that that would have been really cool also i feel like there's a bit of familiarity to it there are some tracks that have that sort of similar feeling and sort of vibe to it um that could easily be mistook in for another track so um i would say that that was another big thing is that when i was listening to to this record is just that sort of familiarity vibe to it um not to say that it's a bad thing but i would love to hear more maybe more expansiveness in the next record so my overall rating for makari's hyper reel i'm gonna be giving it a 9.7 out of 10 i definitely feel like it's a band you should check out it's a release that you should give a listen absolutely it's one of those contenders for album of the year for sure um it's really got some really catchy vibes i love the sort of overall ambience of the band and uh they have some phenomenal hooks on this record that will really drag you into this record which i personally love and i'll be jamming for for a while so let me know in the comments what you think about this band what you think about this album what you think about the singles i would really like to know uh these just your overall thoughts on it uh do you agree with me do you disagree i'd love to have a conversation about it and thank you guys uh for watching this like i said live videos of all the bands that i mentioned previously sauce night versus with sales ahead wolf and bear and makari will all be going out in the fall week so definitely be on the lookout for that um as well as future album reviews and interviews uh to be coming really soon and we have some really awesome ones coming up that i'm excited to share with you so thank you guys for watching this if you enjoyed it subscribe share it hit that thumbs up it goes a long way thank you guys for all the new subscribers shout outs to you guys thanks for watching um and hopefully you'll invite your friends to go check come check out the rest of the stuff we got on the channel so my name is brandon we hope you got your fix and we'll be talking with you soon peace hey guys hope you enjoyed the video uh thanks for watching of course uh if you enjoy what we do make sure to go check out the other series we do we do album reviews we do band interviews and we do live videos so definitely go check that out um hit that subscribe button it really helps our channel helps us grow make sure to hit that like button as well uh, go follow us on social media. That's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces.